Thank you for tuning in. Welcome to Beauty Booth. My name is Kelly Wells. It has been an exciting moment, an exciting time since we started this journey of learning Hina. And we are about to wrap it up, but before we go, you know, there's one that we cannot miss. The bridal, you know, Hina, which is so, so beautiful. And once again, I am with Sabrina on set with her friends. Sabrina, yes. how are you? And as we wind up, you've saved the last, you know, the best for the last. Yes, the bridal henna. So tell us about the bridal henna. The bridal henna is a more advanced stage of henna. Mm -hmm. Well, if you get a person who can do bridal henna, mm -hmm. well, heads up to them. Wow. Yeah, because mm -hmm. the bridal henna is something so intricate, mm -hmm. so beautiful, mm -hmm. so amazing. It is so amazing such that you can actually see a bouquet of flowers mm -hmm. maybe on a hundred per person. Mm -hmm. You can imagine. An exact yeah, bouquet. A lot of flowers. Now. Yeah. But with the bridal henna, it needs so much for you to be so keen on it, so careful. Because, come on, it is her day. She is a bride of her yeah. yeah. Because when she goes up to there, she is actually going to be the competition. Everyone is going to be looking at, at her. At her. Yeah. Now, because this is her day, and definitely I know even the other ladies, probably the sister, yeah, the cousins, they, they definitely have applied all the arms. So, for the bride, how is it going to be different? One, with the bridal, we just do like the entire hand from mm -hmm. the fingertips to the shoulders. Mm -hmm. Some do it on their backs, mm -hmm. some do it on the chest, mm -hmm. some the legs mm -hmm. full till the knees. Yeah. Whoa, okay. And the, the difference is when you look at a bridal, mm -hmm. the designs on the bridal are so advanced, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. intricate. They're actually more of 3D patterns, okay. 3D designs. Mm -hmm. We call them 3D designs, yeah. And you can have as much as many antigens if you're using the Arabic. Mm -hmm. You can have as many uh, petals if you're using the Sudanese. Mm -hmm. You can do Sudanese abstract, Sudanese floral. Okay. You can do as whatever you want, but it is as intricate. It is so good. It must. So she has mm -hmm. to have the best. She has to stand out. She yes. doesn't need any competition because on that particular day. She is the center of attraction. Uh -huh. And that is her day. Too so <laughs> she definitely has to feel special. It, it is like a too bad for the ladies who are attending the wedding to have the years yet they know there's someone yeah. there who is killing it. <laughs> so all these, how long does it take to apply? Well, uh, every person, every artist has uh -huh. different timing. Mm -hmm. Most the most time it can take is almost seven hours. Wow. If she's doing the hands. Till the, uh, the shoulders. Of which both that's hands. a must for the bridal. Well, it depends. Not what, all wait. of them do it. Oh, the like the Indian mostly. You uh -huh. can't find a bride, an Indian bridal, uh -huh. than the hina till the shoulders. The Maybe just till the elbow. Yeah. Oh, but whatever she's done on, mm -hmm. it is so beautiful. Can you imagine if it's half the hand, half then the it hand. must be best. Shouting, yeah. very amazing flowers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when you take around seven hours, that means you're doing the hands, the legs, the back, and the front mm. chest. The chest. Yeah. What? Seven hours. Seven hours. Oh, then, then how do you go about it? Since um, some do only the hands and the legs, mm -hmm. it can only take around four hours. Mm -hmm. It's just the hands and the legs. Mm -hmm. But we give it like, like for example, it can actually take an entire day, like mm -hmm. from 7 a.m. to maybe 7 in the evening. Mm -hmm. Because you have to apply it, mm -hmm. let it dry. And if you're doing the black uh, peacock, the black henna, yeah. then most of them do the black henna. And then inside the flowers, mm -hmm. they actually fill with the red henna. Is it to shade like the shading that we saw when yes. we were doing the peacock flower? The yeah. peacock Feathers. Yes, uh -huh. it is such shading, but you actually apply it like making mm. it bold mm -hmm. from the inside. Right. Yeah. So it takes time for the black peacock to dry, mm -hmm. and you can't actually apply the red henna if the black people is if the black peacock is still wet. You have to wait for wait it. Wait for it to dry, uh -huh. so then you can apply it. Isn't it not tiring? Huh? Beauty is tiring. Oh, so then wh how, when do you do this? Does the, do you go to the bride if it was you going to apply or...? Ah, uh, uh, no. Since, you know, during wedding days, mm -hmm. actually the bride's house is just full of people. Yeah, the you cousins are there, the aunties are there, you the are known, mothers. You're really known to, 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 to show up in these <laughs> <laughs> ceremonies. <laughs> well, I am used to that. Uh -huh. So since you actually need your time with the bride, uh -huh. you know, you need to be careful, you need to be very accurate. 
and you actually time yourself mm -hmm. you tell yourself i'm going to be done in six hours mm -hmm. and if there's too much commotion mm -hmm. too much here and there too mm -hmm. much communication mm -hmm. it is so destructive yeah and you can't finish by the time you want to mm -hmm. and since you can't finish by then then it's going to be like a loss of your day because you're going to be tired and the bride is going, to, going be to be tired. Yeah, even right. more tired than she's You can do two people to help you do the legs, they do the arms? Yes, we you can. can. Uh -huh. Yeah, But it depends. If the bride is okay with it, then you can go with it. Some people are just, no, I want only one person. Because of the uniformity or? Yeah. All right, so beautiful. So now I can see we have our models. Yeah, we do mm -hmm. have our models. So mm -hmm. With me, I have Toma and uh, Halima. Uh -huh. So Halima is actually doing the bridal mm -hmm. in uh, and she actually did the bangle. If you actually remember the bangle, it goes, it goes round. round. And mm -hmm. most most bridals, mm -hmm. they actually do the the bangle design uh -huh. because it takes more of the hand. Oh, okay. Then the strap just flows, flow. and some people don't know what to do with the front. Part. Okay. So they just leave it bare. But with some, mm -hmm. they actually do the scatters, mm -hmm. very big, huge petals. Mm -hmm. Some many locks, mm -hmm. antigens, intricate antigens, moving and normal antigens, mm -hmm. and they make it so beautiful at a place. Do you also merge? You can. All right. Yeah. So beautiful. Now, our viewers, our viewers definitely will wonder when. When, when they're all, going to see when the, Yes. Well, and with bridal, mm -hmm. I can tell you something else. We can also mix the patterns mm -hmm. you can mix indian and arabic. arabic you can mix indian and sudanese wow. sudanese and arabic and the uh, uh, indian and arabic nice it looks so pretty mm -hmm. so amazing just you just have to know how to arrange your flowers I can imagine especially the arabic and the indian very simple wow very so, simple so, so very for the for the arabic you will for the indian you will still do the repetitive if you are yes. going that way. yes you can do the repetitive, mm -hmm. put some uh, few locks of Arabic patterns, uh -huh. some antigens, both moving and both intricate. Mm. Okay, looks okay. so pretty. Yes. So let's see how it goes. Right. By the bridal, okay? Guys, are you ready? Oh my goodness, look at this. So this is a bridal hand. I don't even know where to hold it. Yeah, you because you, you don't want to mess. Yeah, and as you can see, she's actually doing the bangle uh -huh. all over her hand. Yes. And it goes round, mm -hmm. very perfect, very amazing looks, and it is not messed up. As you can see, she was so keen on her antigens, mm -hmm. so keen on her flowers, so keen on her petals. Even the mixture, the way she mixed, I can tell it is not runny. Is, yes, everything is where it was and it is it supposed is to day. be. So you can't afford to have a mistake. You can't. Yeah, because you have it like we, we so if you have it a little bit too runny when you leave it you know it just yeah, merges to, 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 to boundaries that you wouldn't really want so beautiful and they do both the palm yes. and the top of the hand yeah. and as you can see it actually goes everywhere mm -hmm. wow it remember so i told you about the leaves that you can see here it, yeah they have different type of leaves, leaves. yeah it looks so pretty it is very pretty but so tired, mm -hmm. I must warn you. So pretty. It's not, how do you feel? How, how, was it tiring? Yeah, but, but worth it, definitely. It is <laughs> definitely worth it. Worth yeah. it. Mm, this is so beautiful. So this is our bridal head now. This is our, which this now, is Arabic, ar ar totally, Arabic. she has not mixed totally. with any yeah, other design. Yeah. So beautiful, so nice. So guys, what do you think? So beautiful, so pretty. So it has been a learning process and I'm sure you've also gathered one or two things that, you know, you can do it yourself at home. You know, the simple designs, you know, you add something on and with your creativity, then you can go on and on and you can have something interesting, something to feel, to make yourself feel good, you know, about yourself. So guys, share your thoughts, your comments using the handles right there below about all this whole, you know, learning that we've been having. It has been amazing for me and it has been a learning process for me. That's all for now. Until next time, hey, keep it to Brand Plus TV and slay us away.